12 strings was good. It was only um, 100 and 108. <laughs> 108, 108, yeah, 111 yesterday, but we were out of there before the 111 hit. Did not, man. I decided to just bail on the whole situation because, um, yeah, I would have to get up at 5.30 and go, and I just thought, you know, let me just spend the time with the family, relax. But we did watch the last two episodes. That is Greg back there, yes. <laughs> No, he's back. He flew back yesterday. Yeah. He said, welcome back, Jason. Yes. Just saying we finished it over the weekend. So fun. So good. <laughs> right. All right. I'm going to put you through the system, the sound system. going friends almost technology yes yes that all looks the way it's supposed to look to hear it. Jason, can you hear the music? You can hear the music. hit a button. Okay, very good. Now we're good. <clears throat> That's why I need to show up early because of technical problems. We're still right on time. We're right on time. Hi, Lana. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Hi, everybody. Um, happy Monday. So if you're just here for the first time, we also stream because we now have people coming from Zoom. So it's kind of a little hybrid situation. And on Mondays, we do yoga for athletes. So we also stream with the Malibu Half Marathon. So that's Facebook and YouTube. And this is Zoom, the regular people. So I appreciate everybody being open to the new world that we live in now. Let's go ahead and start standing. Today I thought what we would do is um, a little neck and shoulders, just because that's kind of what I'm feeling a little bit. If there's something else you'd like to work on, just let me know. But let's go ahead and begin. <clears throat> What's that? Lower back. Fantastic, it's all connected. It's all connected. <laughs> all right, so palms together, eyes closed, <clears throat> shoulders relaxed. Take a nice deep breath. Ah, let the shoulders drop down, top of the head float up. Breath smooth. Take a moment, set your intention. Intention to release stress, to heal, to strengthen, to manifest something, whatever it is for you that adds a deeper meaning to your breath and your movements.
Good, then we're gonna drop the arms and then drop the head to the left. So easy neck stretch on your right side. So either side we're gonna do both, but I'm dropping mine to my left right now and then stretching the right. And then what we're gonna do is after a couple breaths, you're gonna reach that right arm away from the ear, whichever is the opposite. So if you're tilting your head to the left, <clears throat> you're stretching, reaching the right arm, stretching the right side of your neck and breathe. And my very real plan is to heal my sore neck. <laughs> Drop the chin down and bring the arm slightly forward. So now this stretch goes in the back side of your neck a little bit. Slept with my little guy. He was fine over the weekend. Totally fine over the weekend. Well, we, he, he travels great, but then when we get home, he wakes up in the middle of the night. Now this arm back slightly, so just like 10 degrees, 15 degrees back, chin up slightly. So the idea is to find a little bit of a, more of a neck stretch kind of front side. Breathe. Maybe bicep a little bit. If you, if you opened up the palm until the back, you'd maybe feel that, that stretch in the bicep too. But focus more on the neck. Good. And now back to the center, drop the arm and then drop the head over to the other side and then reach the arm away and breathe. First couple moments, just let the neck stretch, arm reaches out to the side and breathe. Find a good smooth, even breath in and out of your nose. Good, chin down slightly, arm forward slightly, breathe. Good, chin up, arm back, breathe. Back to the center, drop the arm, a few circles at the head. One direction. And our friend Jeff, who's normally in our Zoom here, finished his half Ironman yesterday. Congratulations, Jeff. <laughs> he crushed the swim, crushed the bike and then spent a little longer time on the, on the run. But that was part of the plan. Opposite direction with your head neck rolls. But he finished in solid time. He was happy to be done because there were moments where he didn't think he was actually even gonna do it. <laughs> back to the center, let's do some shoulder rolls. Forward and back, forward and back a little bit. Loosening up the connection, so the neck obviously it's top of the spine but also helps stabilize your arms and shoulders and really torso so just to create a little space back there good and now take the arms up interlace the fingertips turn the palms up to the ceiling straighten the arms bring them back by the ears a little bit breathe Good, smooth, even breaths in and out of your nose. And then from here, we're gonna do a nice, easy twist. So I want you to drive your right leg down, turn away and twist. So feel this twist wherever you naturally feel it. Could be lower spine, could be middle spine, could be upper spine. Maybe add the head, get a little neck stretch, breathe. Good, then switch it opposite side, all the way back around, twisting, turning, and again, feel. So pay attention in the beginning, just to how it feels. And then maybe find a little extra. Good, 
Good, back to the center. Now we're just gonna fold to the side. So one side, easy stretch. Either side is fine, breathe. Good, switch sides. Oh, great, back to the center and lean back. Take a big inhale and then fold down forward as you exhale. Hang forward and stretch. Oh, let gravity do the work here, a few moments. Slight bend in the knees, breath smooth. And then clasp the hands back behind you. Interlace the fingertips. Stretch the shoulders here. Good, smooth, even breaths. Oh. Legs can stay bent if your legs are tighter or your back is tighter. And you can also straighten them if you want. Yeah, good, smooth, even breaths, couple more. Great. Release the arms, engage the abdomen. Let's roll back up to standing, slowly roll up. We'll do a few arm circles. So one arm, make a few circles here. And again, really for the shoulder, which is connected to the neck. So just loosening up a little bit, creating a bit of space in there. Keep your attention in there if you can, in your body and ultimately letting go of some of that tightness and tension. Switch arms, same thing, other arm. Of course, modify whenever, wherever you see fit or you need to, never push too far into pain or into any kind of injury or anything like that. You, it's like water finds its own level, you kind of find your own level in the practice here. Side to side, little twist, gentle. All right, perfect. Back to the center, some sun salutations. Bring the palms together. <clears throat> Take a nice big inhale, lift the arms up. Fold down forward as you exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale. Step back to plank as you exhale. Top of a push-up. Hold, breathe. And with the knees down or not, Push-ups, lower halfway, chaturanga, just five times, press back up. Little uh, core and arm. So again, could be quarter push-up, full push-up, your choice. Couple more. Great. And then drop the knees if they're not already down. Cat and cow tilts for the spine. Inhale, exhale. And again, think about that neck, inhale. Exhale, a few times there, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, exhale, a couple more. Good, and then side to side from there. So side to side, go ahead and lift the feet, move side to side, so shoulder and hip together one side, shoulder and hip together other side. And again, snake the spine. This is a little bit more low middle spine. But you can also add the head and the neck too. Breathe. Taking this next 
I guess 45 minutes now, but uh, just to really pay attention to the sensations. Less time thinking, less time in the brain, more time in the body and the breath. Very good. Back to the center, downward facing dog. Come on up, tuck the toes. Down dog, take a moment, bend the left leg, push the right heel down, nice big stretch. Good, switch sides, stretch. Good, straightening both legs from there. Come up on the toes, walk softly to the hands. Extend the spine as you inhale, look forward. Fold as you exhale, stretch all the way up. Nice big inhale. Hands together at the heart, exhale. Sun salutation, A, a few times from here. Arms up, inhale. Folding down, exhale. Bend the knees if you need to. Halfway up as you inhale, look forward. Step back as you exhale. Take a nice big inhale. Easy option first. Drop to the knees all the way to the mat. Gentle back bend. Cobra. And then downward facing dog. You can take that option anytime, forever. <clears throat> Whatever makes sense for you. Fingers spread, palms flat, lifting the tailbone. Couple breaths. And then up on the toes again. Walk or hop forward. Extend the spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale. Two more, arms up again, inhale. Folding down forward as you exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale. And then step or hop back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower down. Inhale up. Good, and exhale. Back to downward facing dog. So you could take a more vigorous version of that too, anytime if you want it. Good, again, up on the toes. Walk or hop forward. Extend the spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale, one more round, inhale again. Lift up, exhale, fold down. Extend the spine as you inhale. Step or hop back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower down. Upward facing dog, cobra, downward facing dog. From here, right side, take the leg up behind you, right leg up, hold it up there, breathe. Good, then shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, abdomen strong, hold it. One, two, three, and lift it. We'll do that two more times. This time, knee to your left elbow. If you can, hold it. One, two, three. Little core strength. Lift it. And then over to your right side. Hold it. One, two, three. And lift it. And all the way forward to the hands. Pause there. We're going to do a little hip hamstring stretch. You can grab your blocks or just stay on the fingertips as you inhale. Straighten the front leg. Flex the foot. As you exhale, bend the knee. Drop the hips down. And again, feel it for your own body. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. And just a couple more times. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And then we're going to do our little quad stretch. So if you need a little extra padding for the back of your knee, fold over the mat, use a blanket. And then you're gonna come up and the easiest option is just to kind of lift up and sink down into, your, into a lunge. So the idea, hip flexor and, and quadricep. 
If, however, you're a little bit more uh, flexible and feel like your body can do it, the right hand would grab your left foot, square the hips forward, and then drop the quadricep down. So for the lower back, believe it or not, this is actually really good because it'll open up the quads. Sometimes tighter hip flexors and quads will pull on the pelvis in such a way that it causes a little bit of strain in the lower back. So do the best you can here, either variation. Good, breathe. One more breath. All right, and then warrior one. So let's go ahead and release that. Turn the back foot flat. Come up to warrior one. Couple breaths. Arms up. Shoulders relaxed. Sinking down a little. Breathe. Good, then let's clasp the hands back behind you, interlace the fingers, shoulders pull back, head drops back. Actually, not, don't, don't go too much. What I wanna do is a little neck stretch here. So just a, a gentle pull back with the shoulders and then drop the head to the left first. Breathe, a couple more breaths. It's kind of a nicer stretch, deeper stretch. Maybe not nicer, but deeper. <laughs> and then switch sides. So now just drop the head a little bit over to the left. With those shoulders back, you can go deeper. Still strong front leg, strong back leg. Deep breath. Good, now back to the center, head back, inhale. And fold, exhale. Just a few breaths here. Soften the head and neck, stretch the shoulders. One more breath. And then back up, warrior one, inhale. Hands to the floor, exhale. Take the leg back, vinyasa, lower down. Up your facing dog, and down your facing dog. Very good, take an extra moment, bend that left leg and just push the right heel down, big stretch. Left side when you're ready, hold the leg up. Couple breaths. Good, then shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, abdomen strong. One, two, three, and lift it. And then forward knee to your right side, hold it. One, two, three, lift it back. Forward to your left. Hold it, one, two, three, and lift it, and all the way forward. And just about five times here before we drop the back knee down. Inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, bend the knee. Keep it going, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, let's do one more. Inhale, and exhale. Good, and then drop the back knee with a little extra padding or not. An easy thing to do, just come on up, sink the hips forward, that's enough. If you feel like your body can handle it and it's okay, left hand would grab the right foot this time, square the hips forward, and then drop that quadricep down. Breathe, hi. <laughs> Lengthen the upper body up, lean back, breathe deeply. Good, one more breath. And then release it. Uh, warrior one, turn the back foot flat, come on up, warrior one. Arms up, setting it up, hips forward, shoulders relaxed, breath smooth, feel it out, feel stable, breathe. And then clasp the hands back. We won't do the neck stretch this time. Just pull the shoulders back, lift the heart up, take a deep inhale. 
And then fold down as you exhale, a few breaths. Strong back leg while you're here. And then come on back up, warrior one, inhale. Hands down to the floor, exhale. Take the leg back. Vinyasa, lower down. Up with facing dog. Down with facing dog. <clears throat> Holding here, breathe. Breath smooth, even. Lift the tailbone, stretch. Good, when you're ready, up on the toes. Walk softly or hop forward. Extend the spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms, hold. We're gonna throw in a little twist here. So bring the palms together. Left elbow outside the right knee. Normally we go right into the spine. Lengthen the spine as you turn and twist. If you can, I want you to add the neck. So you're turning the head up if it's possible. Breathe. Good, one more nice big breath. Give it a good stretch. And then back to chair, inhale. And switch sides. Lengthen the torso as you twist and breathe. I'll miss you if you're gone, Greg, for all that time. <laughs> I said, I'll miss you if you're gone. <laughs> we'll, we'll stay in touch. Lengthen, twist, and breathe. A couple more breaths. Good. And then back to chair, inhale. Stand, hands to the heart. Exhale, big, full breath. Ah. <sighs> Good, let's do two or three rounds. Sun Salutation B, chair pose, inhale. Good, fold as you exhale. Do your best to link the movement in the breath. Halfway up as you inhale. Step back or hop back as you exhale. Remember any time, you can always do the easier option in the vinyasa. Down dog, right side. As you're ready, take the leg up and bring it forward. Deep breath as you come to warrior one, inhale. And then hands down, leg back, abdomen really strong, vinyasa, lower, heart open, shoulders back, down dog, left side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one, reach, hands down, leg back, vinyasa, up and back, good, downward facing dog. Hold and breathe anytime you need it. You can always drop to the knees, put your head down, take an extra couple breaths and rest. But find your breath, good smooth, even breath. See if you can increase your lung capacity while we move through these poses. Good. Up on the toes again, walk or hop forward. Extending that spine as you inhale, folding as you exhale. Chair pose, inhale, stand, hands to the heart, exhale, big full breath again. Let's do two more. Back to chair again, inhale, fold down as you exhale, warming up the body, activating, halfway up, inhale, step back or hop back as you exhale, vinyasa, lower, up and then back. Right side first, take the leg up, and bring it forward. Warrior one, reaching up. Hands down, leg back. Vinyasa. Left side, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, inhale. Good. Downward facing dog, hold and breathe. Good. 
Good, a couple more breaths. And then up on the toes again, walk or lightly hop forward. Extend the spine as you inhale, fold as you exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach the arms, inhale. Stand, hands to the heart, exhale. Again, a big full breath. One more round like that. Back to chair, inhale. Fold down as you exhale. Extend the spine, inhale. Step or hop back. So your rhythm, your pace, you can be a little slower than me, a little faster than me, that's fine. Ultimately, it's your practice, right? So you're kind of finding the rhythm of your movements and breath. Right side, warrior one. Abdomen strong, involving your midsection. Left side, take it up, forward, warrior one. And downward facing dog. Excellent. So now, let's just drop to the knees for a moment. We're going to take a little breather and stretch at the same time. So keep your toes tucked, toes tucked, and then you sit back onto the heels. If this is really intense on your feet or ankles, can't quite do it, you can just keep them tucked, but stand on the knees. So it's totally fine to be like this. Your feet are still going to get a little bit of a stretch, but if it's possible, you're going to have the weight of the body sitting down on the heels, then interlace the fingers, turn the palms forward, reach the arms up, stretch, Upper back, think upper back and uh, shoulders here if you can. Breathe. Good, last few breaths. So lift up a little bit more, lean back a little bit more, more weight on the feet. One more big, big inhale. And then come on forward onto the hands and knees, lift the feet, wiggle the toes. You can roll the ankles, wiggle the toes, let some blood move back in there. And then point the toes back so you're on the tops of your feet, sit down on the heels. If this is already a big stretch, you can stay there. If you feel like you can handle a little bit more, lean back, start to lift the knees. So not for everyone, just feel what it feels like for you, right? And then you, if you can, lean back a little more. And then if you want, that's right, some of you can kind of lean back. You drop the shoulders down, push the heart up, drop the head back. At the same time, you're stretching tops of the feet, shins, Breath smooth, take about three more breaths. Good, one more nice big, big inhale. And then all the way forward again on your exhale onto the hands and knees. And again, lift the feet, roll the ankles. So again, a little bit of blood back in there, some fresh blood back in there. And then downward facing dog. Down dog for a moment. We're gonna do a little standing sequence that is gonna add some shoulder neck stuff here. So right leg, when you're ready, take it up, bring it forward, turn the back foot, warrior one, and then warrior two. Good, breathe. So gazing forward, just one thing about the neck. Oftentimes, our neck just comes, our head comes forward, right? Whether you're showering or driving with the head forward or reading with the head forward. And that puts way too much pressure on the muscles around your neck. Neck has a natural curve, right? Your whole spine has this kind of double S curve. But the neck should be, have a natural curve. So by pulling the chin back slightly and then turning, it's gonna be a little bit more natural. It might not feel natural, if it might feel toy soldier-like where you're sort of doing that, but 
And you don't have to be extreme, but the idea is to kind of pull back a little bit first, then turn. Now take that back arm. You want to find the right alignment, essentially, is what you're doing. Back arm wraps around, forearm to the thigh, pause. Now engage the abdomen slightly, tuck the tailbone under, start to twist up so you get that top shoulder. If your arm's long enough, you'll grab the inner thigh and then pull. So either way, you can kind of lean into your twist. And if it's okay on the neck, remember, chin down a bit, a bit chin back slightly, and then turn. So you want that proper alignment for your neck here. A few more breaths. More advanced folks, you're gonna keep looking up and we're gonna move this right into half moon pose. If that doesn't make sense to you, look down, scoot the back foot closer, step up into half moon. You may need a block here to stabilize with your right hand. You may not need it, either way is fine. Once you're up, you can release the top arm to the ceiling. If your balance is feeling pretty good today, you look up to your top thumb. If not, look down. Breathe. <laughs> Good, a few more breaths. Good, now look down, let's come back to triangle pose. So bend that standing leg, come on back, standing up. So you're gonna do triangle pose first, just for a couple moments. So both legs straight, both arms straight coming forward and right hand goes to the shin maybe to the ankle for some of you it'll go to the floor do the best you can to breathe there a few breaths all similar principles in there keep breathing good one more breath and then we're actually gonna come up. So come up from there. We're gonna reset to add our little neck and shoulder thing. So left arm wraps around again. And then we're gonna go forward. Forward. You may not go as low, that's fine. I don't want you to go as low. I want you to lengthen the torso, chin down, turn up with your head and neck first. All right. First breathe. Keep that top shoulder opening up whether you're grabbing that inner thigh or not. And then the only thing that turns is your head. So start to drop the chin down, start to turn the head, and look to your right, essentially to the outside of the mat or outside of your right foot. Keep breathing. Now, if you wanted to go deeper, you can go a little deeper, but keep that left shoulder opening up toward the ceiling. So you find that opposing action, just like we did earlier, Chin down, turning the head, a few more breaths. Good, now release the top arm, take it over the ear. Right. And if you wanna look back up at the top arm, you can. Those of you that are uh, feeling a little bit more energetic, you can take both arms up. It's harder, don't strain the back if you do that. A few more breaths. One more inhale. And then both hands down to the floor. Step the back foot closer, angle it forward. We're gonna do reverse triangle here first. So left hand stays down, right arm turns up. Breathe. Driving that back leg back, lengthening the torso as you turn and twist and breathe. Good, lengthen, twist, turn. One more breath. Good, then drop it all down. Hang forward, stretch. Excellent, that's it, breathe. It's fine to bend that standing leg a little bit, that's fine. Just keep your breath smooth, letting go of some of that tension and stress in there. All right, one more standing pose here. Lift the back leg, lengthen the 
torso, left hand stays down, right arm turns up. Reverse half moon, breathe. Lengthen as you twist, drive that back leg back as you twist up. Good, one more big, big inhale. And then hands down, step back. Vinyasa or straight to down dog. Gentle. Neck and spine. Good, take an extra moment in down dog. Bend your left leg, push the right heel down, stretch it. Hmm. Good, then left side, take the leg up, bring it forward, same, turn the back foot flat, come to warrior one, and then open up to the side, warrior two. Pause for a moment, breathe. Remember the, the neck and the chin, slight pull back, it's not a huge amount, but you know, oftentimes this is the case. It just puts way too much stress and pressure here. So if you can get straight up, jaw parallel to the floor, and then pull back slightly. Now, uh, gazing forward, and then take that back arm, wrap it around, if you can, if that works for your body. Forearm to the thigh, twist up and breathe. Strong back leg, lengthen this torso, breathe deeply. Good, now if you wanna take this to half moon pose right away, just scoot that back foot a little bit closer. Step up. If you need to look down during that transition, that's perfect. Just look down. Half moon pose. Once you're up, right arm goes up to the ceiling. Breathe. Excellent. Energy in that back foot as you breathe. And your gaze really depends on how you're feeling today with your balance and obviously your neck here. A few more breaths. Good, looking down and then coming back to triangle pose. And then we'll go into just traditional triangle pose before we reset it with the wrap and shoulder stretch. Next stretch, the first left hand down, right arm up. And so much of a moment to moment communication with your body, making sure you're paying attention Good, one more breath. And then come on up to standing. Let's take that back arm, wrap it around. So the right arm wraps around the body toward the front, coming forward. And remember, not as low. So maybe just to the shin, tuck that chin slightly, gaze up, breathe deeply. Now the only thing that moves is that head. So dropping your head down, neck down, get the shoulder out of the way, extend, so chin down, neck long, turn, stretch, breathe. 
Good. Now release that right arm over the ear. A few breaths. That right arm over the ear. Good, and if you want both arms up, that's right, both arms up, a few more breaths. One more inhale, and then both hands down to the floor. Step the back foot closer, angle it forward, stabilizing your foot position. And then right hand stays down, left arm turns up. So two more standing poses in this sequence here. Driving that back heel down. Lengthen the torso up as you twist and turn and breathe. Find the resistance. So you're searching for the places that are tighter. Whether it's the front hamstring or back heel can't get down for some reason. Lengthen the torso, twist up. One more big, big inhale. And then both hands down. Hang forward, breathe. One more pose here. And then lift the back leg, right hand stays down, left arm turns up, breathe. Nice, everyone. Breathe deep, lengthen the torso. Good, one more big, big inhale. <laughs> and then drop it. Hands and feet this time right at the front of your mat. Just shake out that left leg. Or you can step back a third of your mat. And I'm gonna squat down, so. Uh, it's just a little reprieve here into malasana. Three options, either on the toes, having the feet flat pointed out, or having the feet straight. So wherever your body naturally sort of falls is fine. No strain on the knees and no strain. No, you know, I don't want you to dip the ankles in. Right? If possible, spread your toes and kind of engage the arches a little bit. Lift up, and you can stay here and stretch if you feel like that's what you need right now, or you can move into crow pose, a little arm balance. Just one, that's all we're gonna do. So up to you, where you wanna be. Some of you like that. Sit up tall if you're staying in malasana. Any variation you want, so everybody's different. The headstand sequence, fine. Whatever you wanna do is fine with your crow. And eventually we're all going to meet in down dog. So uh, if you're still in malasana, fold forward, step back, vinyasa or straight to down dog. Take a moment here in down dog, bend your right leg, push your left heel down, big stretch. Good. And then drop to the knees. I, I want to do um, this. We, we've done this before a little bit, but um, you're going to cross over your arms. So my right arm is in front, my left arm is on the bottom. So you're going to come across here like this. You're going to come down onto your belly. Oh, geez. The idea is to get this arm as low. You're kind of crossing like this. So this is really for the rhomboids. So yeah, not, not quite that, that twist, but like this here, and you wanna feel, in fact, Greg and Kathy, uh, and like more like this. So this one here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you're basically kind of wrapping yourself in a straight jacket, kind of. <laughs> not that I know really what that is. But my parents only sent me to the rubber room once in a while. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Breathe, see if you can just feel this on your back. So the idea, again, in the same theme as the neck and the shoulders and upper back a little bit, just to spread some of those 
to stretch some of those muscles right there. Oh my goodness. A little bit more. Maybe reach. Good. Now we're going to switch it. So you're going to slowly come out of there. Just switch arms. So whichever arm is in front, opposite arm goes in front. <laughs> <laughs> and then same, breathe. Oh, 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 what is that? I just got a cramp under here. Somewhere. Oh, I haven't had that before. <laughs> same thing, and you can make it kind of yin style, right? It doesn't need to be just, you're not forcing necessarily. The idea is to get into a deeper stretch and then just relax and breathe and see if there's a little opening that can happen. And then, if you can go a little deeper, maybe just a millimeter further apart with the hand. That's good. Come on up. You know, I don't know, I don't know what it's called. I mean, I don't know that it has a name. I learned it from Charlie Smith, <laughs> actually. It's the Charlie Smith special. I mean, eagle pose is this, Holger, right? So this is, this is eagle pose, Garudasana, but, so it's similar to that. So get, maybe it's an eagle pose variation. Uh, let's see, timing wise, let's go right to pigeon. So down dog. And then step the right leg forward for pigeon. I'm going to wrap up here. If you wanted to do just a little bit of a back bend, you could start by kind of lifting up a little bit, sinking down. Just take a couple of breaths, feel that in your spine. We're not going to do a big back bend. This is it, actually. And then come down and stretch. And we'll just do about a minute, minute and a half. So, pigeon pose, breathe. It's a good stretch, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, especially if you're tighter in there, for sure. <laughs> Let's see. Just find your breath, good, smooth, even breaths in and out of the nose. Last couple breaths on this side. Okay. Let's switch sides. Same thing, other side. <sighs> And again, if you wanted to just kind of add that little extra soft back bend in the beginning, you can. Just by lifting up. And again, just regarding the neck, just sort of pull it back. Get into the habit of not <laughs> leaning it forward, but pulling it back, creating that space. And then down into your pigeon.
Just relax the fingers and the jaw and the face and the shoulders and the scalp and the neck. Last couple breaths there. And then oh, come on up. We're going to bring the legs forward. So you can just bring the legs forward. And then we'll shake them out. We're going to do a seated forward bend. And then our finishing sequence, so you can shake the legs out forward and uh, reach the arms up and then take your seated forward bend. Paschimottanasana here. Pause there for a few moments. Good, and then from there, if you, you can stay there, or if you want to roll back to plow and shoulder stand, you can do that as well. So it's fine if it's okay on your neck. That's kind of the main thing. So up and back and over. Supporting the back, taking the legs up, hold. Good, if you did go up, take the legs straight up for a few moments. And then out to the side, a couple variations with the legs, hip stretch. Bend the knees from there. Soles of the feet together. And then legs up and down over the head slowly. And we come on out, take our final twist, pull the right knee in, give it a good squeeze in. Roll to the left and twist. Good, switch sides, same thing. Very good, and then back to the center for Shavasana. Final rest. Eyes closed, feet flop open, arms down by the side, nice deep breath. Totally, totally relaxed.
ahead and take a nice deep breath from there. You can bring your left hand to your heart center, right hand to the belly. Take a nice deep breath. Eventually, you can bend your knees, roll to your right side, make your way up to a seated position, a comfortable seat. I'm just going to do a short moment to close here, sitting up nice and tall, palms up, eyes closed, a couple of breaths. So just kind of reintegrating mind, body, breath spirit, energy, all together as one whole being, hopefully connected to a deeper place inside, and that relationship is the relationship. Gratitude for every breath. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for showing up live and in person, <laughs> virtually. We thank you. <laughs> And uh, I'll see you back here tomorrow. If you're on Facebook and YouTube, these are done on a donation basis. Members, I'll see you guys tomorrow and everybody else will be back here on Wednesday. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. Feels good to have some people. Some people again. Yay, people. <laughs>